nice super beautiful wand curls I just used a little bit of a serum to pull them apart and they're just so gorgeous sidebar why did nobody tell me that when you want to do curls in your hair you have to use hair that is already curly or wavy you guys know that I've been doing all these tutorials with straight hair trying to do curls and I just don't get the body I don't get the hold that I'm looking for and I've just realized that when you use straight hair it is chemically processed to remain straight so trying to curl it it will take a curl but it's not gonna hold a curl as well as hair that basically has been treated to hold a curl so, so today I have in my beautiful Brazilian body wave from you win they sent over four bundles of their Brazilian Body Wave. It was super beautiful in its natural state, but as you know, when you unravel a bundle of Body Wave hair or wavy hair or any texture, when you unravel it and you make a wig, it kind of loses its nice texture. And you'll either, either have to like wet it and put product to bring that natural wave back, or you can do a heat style as I did. Using or you can use a hot tool as I did. I used this one from, I think this is from Conair. I think everyone has had this one once in their life. I need a new one. Let me know what brand do you recommend to get some new ones. I kind of want one that's a little bit fatter. Maybe even one that's a little bit skinnier. came out. But I want one with a bear that is evenly straight all along as opposed to the gradient barrel as this one is. So basically I went all the way around and I did my curls. I used a bit of a little bit of a shine spray and serum. So, so I'm going to go ahead and jump into the tutorial. I did go ahead and do majority of the hair off camera. That way it wouldn't be so redundant and repetitive to see me go through the whole thing. So when I come in you'll see that I'm already at the top portion. And basically you guys get the picture of what happened. This is a very time consuming um, style in my opinion. It took me at least 45 minutes to get through all of it without even, you know, doing all the finessing to my, um, the crown of my head. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into the tutorial that I'll be back with my thoughts on this hair. <laughs>
the key to getting some flaky curls as such is to use some hair that is already wavy. I recommend body wave hair as a way to go ahead and get a nice bounce and a good hold to your curls. Again, I did use my Con Air Wand Curler. This one I think is like $21. It's like under $25 bucks at my local Target. It might even be cheaper on Amazon or Walmart. This one I've had for forever and it still is holding up great. It goes up to 400 degrees and my son is talking. What did you say, baby? Huh? You went to the beach? So after you have your good bouncy wavy hair, you go ahead and you choose your heat tool. And then also what I found with these curls is sometimes you feel like if you use too much um, of a product, it's going to weigh the hair down. But I find that with these curls, what helped them to lock in and give it great shine and great bouncing. All that greatness was to use actually use product. So in the process of doing my curls, ooh, I'm flying everywhere. I use my Care Care Stuff Machine, which is easy to spray each section down really good, and then go ahead and curl piece by piece. And then in the end, I used my Paul Mitchell Skinny Serum or the Super Skinny Serum, and I just put like a big pump or two in my hand on each side and kind of just brushed it too. I didn't necessarily want to tear the um, curls apart, but more so just make them all come together. Because you know when you curl hair, each ringlet is like separate. Because you know when you curl hair, each ringlet is like individual. And you kind of just want to pull the hair together in a way so that they all marry and are all together. And this was the result. I am absolutely in love with these curls. In order to sleep with it, I would suggest that you just go ahead and either put it up really high into a pineapple or just put it all into a bonnet. And that way in the morning when you wake up, you'll be able to just put some serum and kind of brush it all together. And then this curl... And then this style probably will last about two to three days. Each day, just do something a little bit different. Like the next day, you might be able to just add your serum since the curls are fresh. And then the day after that, you might have to go through and just add a few curls up top, just random right places, just to kind of bring back a little bit of the wave. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't really have any complaints about this hair. As far as the wig construction, I did make my quick weave wig as usual. I also did bleach the knots. But I'm also finding that I love adding the powder even when I bleach the knots. It just makes the parting pop a little bit better. Um, I did not have to tweeze out the hairline. Um, I just kind of took my rat tail comb and just pulled out a little bit of hair along the edges. And just cut it really short and made the baby hair pretty much what I usually will do. And that worked great for me. So don't forget to check out UN. I have all of the information in the description bar for you guys to click the links and go ahead and shop and purchase your hair. Also, don't forget, I have a $500 giveaway going on on my channel. I have that linked in the description bar. Go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell button so you'll never miss a video from me again. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Uh. Yeah.